Father, we lift our hearts to You again in Your presence. And we refuse to believe that we are one religion among many. We believe we're simply alive because You have given us life in Christ and that is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by Jesus Christ. Period. And so we bow and we worship You in the spirit of truth. We honor Your Son Jesus and recognize and confess that He is the Messiah. He is the Lord and the King. These things are beyond our little minds. We worship Jesus. God is raising up a new Jesus people. And that's the kind of revival we're talking about. The emergence of a Jesus people. We're not talking about just, just God coming. We're talking about God coming to raise up a people who will be a people who are family, a people of restoration, a people of power, so that then Jesus can get the testimony He deserves. We need revival, and it's time. And I believe God is saying that. I believe God is saying the kind of revival I'm going to send is not just, not just going to come and visit and just put a holy influence over a city or a region. Though I, He'll do that. It's not just that. He's going to possess a people. The people will be transformed. The people will be like Jesus. The people will be a Jesus people. The people will be a Jesus people. The people will be a Jesus people. Leonard Ravenhill, in his characteristic way, is saying that others are advocating the Christian gospel as a sure sign to prosperity. Why then were the saints in China who were subdued by Stalin not raptured? Why did God seem to stand by while Vietnam and Cambodia were mutilated? Are we Western Christians a better breed and a better spiritual pedigree than they? God has a controversy with the nation. First, I believe, He has a controversy with His church. We've substituted organizing for agonizing. And we've substituted equipment for endowment. Much of what the church does today depends on facilities and electronics. No nation is better than its church. And no church is better than its people. Only God-transformed personalities can change the moral fiber of the nation. Only God-changed people can change a nation. We can't just pray for God to drop. We have to live the kingdom. We must be the Jesus people in the power of God. And that's the revival. When He releases more grace to take possession of us, that will be the revival for which we are preparing. So what kind of revival are we talking about? We're not talking about merely visitation. We're talking about habitation. Revival is when God visits the houses that we build. Revolution is when God raises up His own house and possesses it. Revival is when God visits the houses we build. Revolution is when God possesses the house that He builds. And we know that we have expectation if we're going to make life adjustments and changes in order to prepare for the kind of revival we're talking about, which is ultimately revolution. The people will be a Jesus people. people will be a Jesus people. People will be a Jesus people. We pray that your kingdom would come and, and create family and create power in our midst. We've substituted organizing for agonizing. And we've substituted equipment for endowment. Rip us with a kingdom vision. Make us a kingdom culture, God. Pour out your spirit on us afresh, even as we rise up and believe. And make us the Jesus people.